Good morning, sixth grade math. Again, it is Monday, it is May 11th, and in this video, I'm going to be doing your math with you. So for math on Monday, you have a few things to do. This video is going to be the worksheet about the mean of absolute deviation. So, I think it's here. That's what I want. Before we move on to that video, I need to explain to you what the mean of absolute deviation is. I myself did not remember what that was, and I was going to look at your notes for 16.2, but I don't see them in Canvas yet, and they aren't in your packet. So I'm going to go off of what IXL says, and when 16.2 gets put into Canvas, I will read through that as well. But for today, we'll just use this. So it tells us that the mean of absolute deviation, MAD for short, is a measure of how much a data set varies. So to find the MAD, you first have to find the mean. So that's the same as always. You add all the numbers together in the data set and divide by how many there are. So in this particular problem on IXL, those were our numbers. There are six total. They added up to 24. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So the mean for those numbers was 4. Now, to compute the mean absolute deviation, you have to take each number in the data set and subtract the mean from them, and then take the absolute value. Then you take all of those absolute, absolute values and add them together. So what that means is, for this data set, we had 774141. So that means for each number, even if it's repeated, you subtract the mean from it. So you do 7 minus 4, which is 3, 7 minus 4, which is 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Now, the important part here is it talks about absolute value. Absolute value is not negative or positive, it's how far away the number is from zero. Negative three is three away from zero, so it's just three. There are no negative numbers in this, so you're always going to have a positive number and it won't be as confusing because they're all positive numbers. So we take three plus three plus zero, so three plus three is six, uh, plus 3 again because 1 minus 4 is negative 3, but it's the absolute value, so it's 3. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12. So now that we have the sum with all the absolute values from that, our MAD is going to be the sum divided by how many numbers there are total. There's still six numbers total. So the mean absolute deviation would be 12 divided by 6, which is 2. Let's look at your worksheet to have some more practice with that. So let me get my writing tool out. All right, so first we need to look at these numbers. Three plus one is four plus five, oops, I did it again. Plus five, this is irritating. I'm gonna scoot it over so that doesn't keep happening. So 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1, oops, sorry, plus 5 is 9, plus 4 is 13, plus 8 is 21, plus 6 is 27. So we know that all those numbers added together is 27. So now we need to divide how many there are by 27. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to do 27 divided by six. And it does say to round your answer to two decimal places. Um, I'm gonna double check that I added this together right because now I'm scared. <laughs> Three plus one, come on now. Okay. 
So I was right. Sometimes it's nice to double check. All right, six goes into two, zero. Oops, forgot to go back to mouse. Zero times. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, 30 is too much, so we know it goes and do it four times. Six times four is 24, three, zero. Going to bring down an imaginary zero. Six goes into 35 times. Six times five is 30. So we know our mean is four and a half. So for all of these, our mean is 4.5, 4.5, 4.5. Four point five, four point five, and four point five. Alright. Now we'll fill in the data. So three, one, five, four, eight, six. Now it wants to know the difference. The difference is subtraction. Three minus four and a half is negative one and a half. One minus four and a half. Wait, sorry. Yeah, no, that's right. One minus four and a half is negative three and a half. Five minus four and a half is um, point five. Four minus four and a half is negative point five. Eight minus four and a half should be 3.5. I want to double check. It's early. I'm feeling sleepy. 8 minus 4.5. This. Yes. Okay. Three and a half. Oh no. Wait. Okay. Something bad happened. Looked like it went all the way, but it didn't. Three and a half. And six minus four and a half is one and a half. Because five be two. Yeah. All right. So now what it's telling us is to find the absolute value. Again, absolute value is just how far the number away from is is from zero. No negatives. All positive. So the absolute value of negative one and a half is just one and a half. The absolute value of negative three and a half is just three and a half. Point five is just point five. Negative 0.5 is just 0.5, three and a half, and one and a half. So now we have to add those all together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we have 3, 4, 7, 10, 11. So our sum is 11. So now to find the mean absolute deviation, we have to divide 11 by these six numbers again. So 11 divided by six, six goes into one zero times, and one, six, 12, so it can only go once. Six times one is six. 11 minus six is five. We bring in a decimal. Bring down a zero, six goes into 50, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, eight times is too many, so we have to go into seven, um, which is 48. Six times seven is 48. And then no, wait. six times eight is 48, sorry. I knew it, that didn't sound right. Six times eight is 48. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Oh, today is a day. Six times nine is 54. All right. Don't worry, guys. If you ever get frustrated, you're not alone. Oh, six times eight is 48. Borrow. 
10, 0, 2, bring down an imaginary 0, 6, 12, 18, and 18, 1, 10, 2, bring down a 0, so that's going to go 3 again. So it says to round to two decimal places, so we have 1.83 because that second 3 is less than 5, which means it stays at a 3 instead of bumping up to a 4. All right, that's a lot. I'll do one more. Let's look at number 3. I'll pick a different color too. Oops. I will do green. All right. So we need to find our normal mean first. So 23 plus 15 is 838, plus 15, 8 and 5 is 13, 3, 4, 53, plus 7 is 60. And then we need to divide 60 by 4 because there are four total numbers. So 60 divided by 4, 4 goes into 6, 1 times 4 times 1 is 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, bring down to 0, 4 goes into 25 times, 4, 8, 12, 60, 20. So our mean is 15, so we can write that for everything. And then we'll erase this. So now we need to find our differences. So we have 23, 15, 15, and 7. 23 minus 15 is 8. I'll show you though. Oops, not plus, minus. Eight, 15 minus 15 is zero, 15 minus 15 is zero. Seven minus 15 is also eight because seven, er, eight plus seven is 15. But I'll show you. So we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So 7 minus 15 is negative 8. The absolute value of 8 is 8, 0, 0, 0, 0. Negative 8 is positive 8. 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 16. I'm going to clean up that last 8. So now we have to do the mean of absolute deviation, which is where we take the sum where we got 16. We still have four numbers, so we have to do 16 divided by 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. So our answer to number 3 is 4. That's it for this video. Hopefully that helps you guys. Sorry about my little mix-up in the middle. Uh, sometimes the littlest things stump you up. Sometimes it's bigger things. But as long as this video helps you, that's all that matters. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, enjoy the rest of your day.